Hi everyone, today we are talking about A19s, more commonly known as the humble light bulb. And if you're thinking of switching your light bulbs from incandescent or CFL to LED, we'll go through some comparisons and other information that might help. There are some 2 billion light bulbs like this one installed in US homes today. And it's strange to think these bulbs we've known our whole life will soon disappear completely. The incandescent bulb revolutionized the world, but their time has come to an end. Governments all over the world are phasing them out in favour of more efficient light bulbs. What now? The CFL, or compact fluorescent lamp, has been around since the 90s as a replacement to incandescent bulbs, and they certainly offer an improvement in efficiency and lifetime, but also some drawbacks. They contain hazardous mercury and can shed an unfavourable or harsh light in the home. It's very likely that LED will win out and become the dominant light for the home, office, warehouse, even outdoors. They are simply more durable, longer lasting and more efficient. Though to be fair, perhaps their biggest and only downside has been their high cost. But that's now changed, making them an affordable and sensible choice. In another video, we'll go through the actual dollars and cents comparison between using each type of bulb. Let's take a closer look at all three types of bulbs. Incandescent bulbs work by passing electricity through a thin metal filament. The filament gets so hot it glows white and gives off light and heat. In fact, about 90% of the electricity used in the conversion to light is wasted as heat. The CFL A19 bulb works completely differently. The white twisted glass tubes are filled with phosphor and other gases. Then mercury is shot through the tubes and the excited gas gives off light. This is called fluorescence. LEDs use an LED chip or chips that are mounted to a heatsink body. The very efficient LED semiconductor chip has electricity passed through it and in the process gives off light. The heatsink helps keep the LED chip cool. What's great about all these bulbs is that they are interchangeable. If they have the same base, you can screw one out and screw another in, be it LED, CFL or the old incandescent. Incandescents and CFLs need to get hot to work. The filament of an incandescent will reach about 5000 degrees Fahrenheit and the gases of a CFL give off more light the hotter they get. In fact, a common complaint of CFLs is that they can take a minute to warm up before they reach full light levels. LEDs are the opposite, they run cool and in fact prefer operating in the cold. It's the purpose of the LED heatsink to keep the LED chip cool, but even after being on for hours in hot ambient temperatures, LEDs will be much cooler to the touch than the other two. An incandescent lasts around 1000 hours, CFL 5000 hours and LED 50,000 hours. To put that in perspective, a light bulb on for 3 hours a night is about 1000 hours a year. 50,000 hours is a very long time. But to be accurate, no LED bulb manufacturer has tested a batch of their bulbs for 50,000 hours. That would be 24-7 for about 5 years. And LED technology has moved too fast for that kind of trial to be useful. Instead, they test them for about 6 to 10,000 hours and note the very little degradation and failure rate. So 50,000 hours is an average for manufacturers. Some claim less, some claim more. In fact, in lab conditions, an LED chip could last for millions of hours. As mentioned earlier, only about 10% of the electricity used by an incandescent actually gets converted to light. The other 90% is wasted as heat. CFLs and LEDs are much more efficient, converting about 30% of electricity to light. But LEDs have another important advantage. Unlike all other bulbs that give off light in all directions, LEDs only direct their light down. And in most fixtures, say like a can light in your ceiling, any upward light from the bulb gets trapped. As much as 50% of light in fixtures like can lights gets wasted when using either incandescent or CFL bulbs. Imagine using one of each type of bulb in your ceiling and they were equally bright. For an equivalent light level, it would be something like this. So as a rule of thumb at the moment, LED bulbs of any type use only about 15% of the electricity compared to an incandescent and about 50% compared to a CFL. There are other characteristics we can compare between each light bulb, like color temperature, which is a description of the type of white light from warm to cool, or CRI, which is a measure of the quality of light when rendering colors to the human eye. If you'd like to learn more about those characteristics and others, please visit our YouTube library for more videos. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I'll see you next time.